Hello everyone and welcome back to Clouded Judgment Gaming. I am McNinja. Today we're going to be completing episode 5 of Soma. Now in our last episode, I made my way to the downship Curie in order to obtain a transport vehicle that was in well enough condition for Catherine and I to take to uh, Theta. Now, uh, Theta had a deep sea dive suit or at least an apparatus that would create one. Uh, that we could take to the deepest part of the map in order to locate the Ark and send it into space. The only problem was I had the old-timey dive suit guy from Spongebob in hot pursuit. Uh, he had gotten me a couple of times, but I managed to complete the mission. Now, we boarded the craft, we're on our way out, and Catherine lost control, and we crashed again. So, uh, we crashed into Delta, narrowly missing uh, or avoiding the Abyss. And now we have to try to get from Delta to Theta. So uh, picking up right where we left off. Oh my god, did anybody bring their insurance information? Oh, was I stuck to the wall? <laughs> like a sponge or some cooked spaghetti noodle? Oh man, I brought my AAA card if that helps. I brought the AAA card. Ah. Please refer to my bumper sticker. Jeez. Great. You said they were sending help, right? Ooh. I wonder if that's my little buddy from when I, uh, I freed him from the rocks. Whoa. What up, homie? Oh, he's got little, like, tunes and stuff. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That means what's up, Paul? Alright. Nope. I dubbed the little dude. There are crabs everywhere. And I'm like, oh ho, and then the girl's gonna be like, oh my god, I got crabs in the bed. And, you know, what's the deal? And I have to explain to her, no, uh, I got that on an adventure, and we're gonna have to deal with that because they're part of our lives now. The dark side of adventure. There's another old timey uh, diving helmet. <laughs> What is he doing by, like, what's the purpose of this? I mean, it heals me, I get it. I mean, but it is yet to be explained what the whole freaking song and dance is about. Okay, what are these pictures of? Oh, wow. Dang. Photographic evidence of douchebaggery. Well, he lost his damn mind. See, red's a good color for exploring. Red is a good color for exploring, and green is a good color for exploring. In the environment. You see that shit on anything else but the environment? It is a bad deal. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, six possible locations I gotta go to. Uh, I gotta explore all those areas. Uh, figure out how the hell we're gonna get out of here. Delta. There seems to be some sort of track or rail or a subway or something that goes around to these. So, maybe I can hitch a ride on that. Or whatever that is. I gotta find it first. They're all due east. They're worse things out tonight than vampires. Oh, 
Back what? Lock me. I tried to do a cool like blade and drop down the hole, but I couldn't do it. Damn it. The news. Okay. There seems to be one of the targets already. There were six of them, so that's five left. There's a track. Of a damn missile. Oh no, those are engines of sort or some sort. Well what is going on, man? Oh, bad guy. Kind of stuck in a little crevice there. Delta. Alright, let's open this. Whoa! Dude, I heard those little auditory whistle thingies that you do. And you could have blown one of those my way before you started using that plasma torch. Plasma cutter. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna go deal with this button first. Please don't kill me. Huh. Hold that for me. Oh, I thought it said fuck you Lakers. I was saying, we're about to throw down, fool. That's my team. Zep. So there is uh, a line. It's not a subway. It's not a railway or nothing. It's a zeppelin, which seems more plausible underwater, right? <laughs> uh, so I guess I got to locate that zeppelin. Then that's how we're gonna get there. All right. Let's see what this dead body has to say. Who was freaking shot clean in the face and then in the balls? What, your face or your balls? First of all, he can feel it bleeding out of his face or his balls. I don't know. And then he's obviously mortally wounded. And his teammate, who we found their, her corpse up there, uh, was just like, yeah, it's nothing, dude. Everybody bleeds from their face and their balls. Come on. Cool helmet, though. Oh, I get to keep it. <laughs> you can have it, though. Revenge of the chair. That dude's freaking out still. Hello? Okay. Do I follow you or? About to... Did you move the cartridge casing? We need to test that one before we ship it. Hey, can you hear me? Give me some room, please. Man, you can really tell. Wow, you are nuttier than squirrel turrets, buddy. And that's 
really nutty. Wow, I saw that. <laughs> oh, so they light up per signal, huh? That one lit up. Oh, 049. Okay. Gotta remember that number, 049. I've established a link with 049. At least he went whoop this time. Or at least I heard it. <laughs> I was looking for it. This helper bot is just so such an eager beaver. <laughs> it's all the foliage. I believe it's pronounced foliage. Yeah, it's what I said, the foliage. Somebody hit the music. Oh, I can do both. Sweet. We saw him outside. Topa. Topa got his ass handed to him by Vegeta. Because Vegeta's the man. Suck it, Topa. Dragon Ball Super. Love you. From Theta. Delta evacuation. So you're asked to leave. So he went all Howard Hughes and shit in there. Weird. That's why he went nuts. Yep, see? Terry Akers uh, won his 1,000th game of chess. Yep. He got bored. Played 1,600 games. 1,000 lost 610. I'd whoop his ass. And then I'd play chess against him while he was unconscious. And then I'd beat him. Again, why are you trying to, like, grab its brain and then twist? Whatever. I guess we're done here. 049, so that's not useful yet. There's the Zeppelin thingy. To Theta, but it's not here. I gotta go in there. There's another button. Oh, sweet. Shipping. Zeppelins 049. Press transport. Incoming. Is that, yeah, that was, um, what's his face? 
That was Matthew McConaughey. Oh, he landed on a corpse. Oh, man. Hey, maybe that was one of the people from the pictures. In fact, that was definitely two of the people from the pictures. Calm down. We're safe. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I bet it is. Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. I wonder. You know, being born again, dying, being born again, dying. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Uh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. We have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The tool <laughs> chip over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a it says stun baton, you big sissy. We're just robots. You're a sissy killer robot. You know that? Ooh. Oh, I am ready to rock now. This is my stun baton. There are many like it, but this one is mine. No, I am not killing you, dude. That was too lined up too perfectly. I'm not that evil. <laughs> I'm not that evil. Where's that big freaking crazy bastard at? The one that's all sixes and sevens. Oh, there he is. I told her that I was gonna go to the lunch in the bottom of the pool on Wednesday because of the color purple. Hey, buddy. Boom! Chill out. Got him. Oh, he's got a little life in him. He's trying to ink me. And a kill shot. Boom. I should do it. Oh. <laughs> Did he hit the ball? Yes. <laughs> Oh, did I drop the gun? Why the hell did I drop the gun? Why can't I pick the gun up? Dude, that's like the most useful weapon like ever in this game. Come on, come on, you son of a bitch. Little dude, come here. Okay, I got your SIM card, now what? I gotta get back to the, uh... Don't give me any of that bullshit R2. Thanks, Simon. Don't be mad, okay? We really I don't get it. mad. We we'd be stuck here. Could you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was Talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? Yes, I've known <laughs> ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. Really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I really, really like her. Hit that button too while I'm at it. Thanks. You're robot wifey material, you know that? Robot Simon is pleased.
So uh, we're just gonna roll up here in silence. I want to get another sounding AI like Yoda or something. <laughs> Forgiveness you seek. Or like uh, Walken. Forgiveness is divine. All right, TV. Sweet. You're really good back there, Simon. I know. I was there. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Zeta. Then we just head inside, grab the Dunback, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. We don't have to worry, though, because with the Dunback, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It don't hold for anything. The Dunbat was the name of the apparati I was looking for. Because that makes sense underwater. She is funny. So that means you are Johnny Five, and you are, in, in fact, alive. Now, that was what I was talking about earlier. What constitutes a mortal soul? I am way ahead of the curve on this shit, man. Like, what makes you human? What makes you you? Now, this, for all intents and purposes, is another living Simon acting independently of the other Simon, who would probably have been doing the exact same thing. Dang, she told us. Ooh, that's really cool. Look at that moss effect. That's awesome. So I guess we gotta go that way. Or that way. Seem to be multiple places to go. Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing an anchor. What's wrong? What can I say? It's been a rough day. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The valve turned in a number on him. Wow, he got all fucked up. Enough. 
Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. Uh, all right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. Holy shit, what? Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass, Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you died before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon, so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Robin. I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. That's freaking insane. This poor thing is going to go on just dying or just chilling out here because the machines won't let nothing die. Ooh. Oh shit, oh. Well, maybe I could grab it? Oh, don't be so dramatic. You're a robot now. They just have to plug you back in, recharge your battery, and like in an hour you'll be fine. As long as they don't unplug you before you're past 60%, you should be good. Friggin' overdramatic jerk wad. Making me think what the fuck I just did over here. I mean, I kind of Kevorkian'd her, like a, uh, what do you call it? An assisted suicide. But she was going to be stuck there for eternity, essentially, with this malfunctioning AI keeping her there perpetually alive. So I did her a favor against her will. <laughs> I mean, you draw a line there, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Like, um, where is it a mercy killing? Where is it murder? Um, if it's a robot, does it count as murder? Because murder is defined as one human killing another. So. When do you stop being human? That's weird. I can figure this out. Okay, yeah. I, I kind of already did. <laughs> circle, circle. Oh, wow, it's just like the shit to kill Khan. Or that Khan used in uh, Star Trek 2, the Wrath of Khan. The turn thingies. Alright. Khan! Whoa. If 
Ta-dum, ta-dum. It's like the Pink Panther or uh, Get Smart. <laughs> wow. That kind of looked like Frictional's logo there a little bit. Wow. This is the lovely Cape of Death. Let us enter. Da -da 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 this is going to be great. I'm positive. Oh, look. It says swipe my machine right here. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits to this video. Uh, you guys have been more than great. Uh, the support has been amazing. I'm churning out these videos as quickly as I can. Uh, hopefully, I'll do like one a day or maybe even two a day if I'm if I'm really jamming on it. So keep up those likes. Keep up the, uh, the shares, the comments. Uh, keep it going, guys, and I'll keep it going. Uh, you are appreciated, and stay tuned for episode six of SOMA.